Hey friends, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope this gives you all kinds of inspiration to maybe get some projects done in your yard. This was our summer 2023 huge project around the house. We decided to take our deck out and just transform our backyard. So these are a few shots of the deck before. It was pretty small. We've lived in this house for 19 years and we've had many parties, many get togethers out here and the deck is just a little too small for what we wanted. So it's been my dream to build a patio out here. So we finally decided it was time to take on this huge project. So this was the day we did this actually over two months. We started middle of June. We finished middle of August. So this was the, the first day we began working on it. So you'll see lots of changes of clothes, lots of different days. Um, it took us many, many, many weeks to get this done. These are some just it's an overview of our deck. It's pretty small and it also had some rotted wood. We had over the years power washed it and stained it and painted and the wood was just really a lot of it was needing to be replaced and we went back and forth trying to decide what we wanted to do. If we wanted to rebuild the deck, if we wanted to do a floating deck, if we wanted to do an actual cement pad, which was what I ultimately what I wanted. So that was what we decided to go with. Um, so this is my husband Marion and we were just this day clearing off the deck and we had no idea how long this would take. We didn't know if this would take, you know, a whole week to rip the deck out or what. We'd never done this before, but it actually only took one day, one afternoon. It was a lot of hard work, but we got it done. Also, the same day that we did tore the deck out, we tried to get as much of the landscaping out as we could. It didn't, we didn't get it all out this day. We had been kind of in a drought and the ground was pretty hard way harder than I anticipated. I thought I could do this while he ripped out the deck. Didn't work that way. I needed his muscle. So we got out a few of these plants because my plan was to replant them. I did not want to just get rid of these. I love these plants. I've had them since they were teeny tiny and they've spread and I love them. So I wanted to transplant them to, you know, when we finished the patio. So we did what we could as far as getting them out of the ground. Thankfully, God helped us out a few weeks later, or I can't even remember, maybe a few days later, um, with lots and lots of rain. So the ground was nice and soft, and we were able to get them out the rest of the way and also replant them. So you'll see that later on in the video. But we got out what we could. It was really hot this day, and so Marion just went to work. He is such a hard worker. He just We just started taking it apart piece by piece. We weren't really sure what we were going to do. But he did amazing and just, you know, cut where he needed. Some some of the nails we had to cut through, we weren't able to, un or screws, we weren't able to unscrew them. I don't know how long this deck has been here. So sometimes he did have to cut through them, but for the most part, he was able to take them out piece by piece. And we, are, we did save this wood and we've decided to use it to make a few things. So we'll be salvaging some of it. He's actually currently building me a table to go on the new patio and that is going to be so nice and it is with some of the salvaged wood from the deck so that makes me so happy so we decided we at first we were going to just pull these pieces up and have long boards to to make all kinds of things with I had all envisioned all these things we could make with it but it was just so hard for him to pull just one board took so long and it just was not happening so I said why don't you just cut them you know we had seen where you could do it this way Obviously, you're, you can't salvage the long boards, but it was the only way we could get this deck apart. So he ended up just cutting them into these small pieces and it worked fine. And we do have a ton of that. So I'm trying to figure out what I can make with that. I know there's a lot of ideas. A lot of people have told me in the comments. Also, I want to let you know that there is a playlist link down below. If you would like to see a very detailed version of this, we did film four separate videos and there is a playlist with all of those. So if you are interested, make sure to check down below. You can find out any, any information, hopefully that I am not telling you in this video. Hopefully you will find in one of those videos. It's much more detailed and that playlist is linked down below. Okay, so this is the end of that day. It was exhausting, or actually this is probably another day, I can't even remember, but that's what it looked like. 
when we got the deck pulled out and we did move the stairs uh, the old stairs just over to the door just until we got the new ones built and this was after we'd had some rain so we were able to it was still difficult these things are so hard to pull out but we were able to get them out the rest of the way this was the concrete that held the deck in place and at first Marion thought that he should probably pull these up or dig them up because he didn't want them to cause any kind of like um, you know rotting underneath the deck or underneath the new patio but he and my son were out here for so long trying to dig it up and it just wasn't working and so we just decided it was not going to happen <laughs> so they were really really trying though so originally we had planned on doing a dry pour patio we did try this in a future a past project you see my little uh, storage shed there we did do a dry pour patio and it worked perfectly and that was the plan and Marion had cut all these little stakes and he was trying to level the ground and clear it and measure and we just realized if you go back and watch those videos you'll see in detail what happened but we just realized we were in over our heads this was way more than we had anticipated it was gonna cost or it was gonna be about 250 bags 80 pound bags of concrete and it was like the smoke in the air was really bad because of the fires in Canada so it was hard on his asthma it was so hot it was hard on his back we just decided to talk to our neighbor who is a contractor like I said check that video out if you want more details but he ended up pouring the slab for us but at this point we were still thinking we were going to do it ourselves so we had salvaged a big old piece of wood from the deck and we dug this trench it literally took an entire day to get this trench dug and the wood leveled and everything but we realized that the other side of the ground was pretty it was about a three inch difference and so it was not as level as we had thought and so it was going to take a lot even more concrete than we anticipated but Marion was trying at this point he had this string and he was trying to get the two pieces of board on the edges to be level so that obviously when we pour the concrete it would be level if you don't know what a dry pour concrete is I'll try and link a video down below but it's a process it's a very long process but it's a lot cheaper in the end and if you don't have obviously like a cement truck it can work to lay your concrete and it does work we did work on our smaller project and I would definitely recommend it or do it again for a small project but something this size of this um, it was a lot so so we did end up deciding to go with our neighbor who is a professional he brought a team in and they did pour a cement slab but it was going to be about a week before he could get to it so we thought we would get a few things done in the meantime while we were waiting so the back of the house was under the deck and also next to it it was needing to be power washed because this orange dirt we live in Virginia and there's orange dirt everywhere I grew up in Texas we did not have orange dirt we had brown dirt to me dirt should be brown but it was all over like this side of the house and so I just power washed it you can see that the power wash was kind of taking the paint off this paint was really old but it was fine ended up I was going to repaint anyway so it wasn't a big deal but I wanted to power wash it first and then go back and paint the house the best we could we tried to match the color of the house and also we wanted to fix the trim there you can see where it's a little rotted where the deck was butted up against the house so we did go to Lowe's and we picked up some one by fours and he just screwed these along that area where it was kind of rotted on the siding and then we caulked it really good and painted it and you could never tell that it was like that So we did go to Lowe's and I took a little piece of the paint and tried to color match as best I could and you can see when the paint is wet it doesn't look like it matches but when it dries it's a really close match. I think the color is called wet pavement but our future plans are to paint the outside of the house um, in next summer or maybe this fall I'm not really sure but it needs a new coat of paint so we're not going to go with the same color so we just wanted the back to match as best it could with the rest of the house until we got that finished.
All right, the end of another day. It looks so much better than it looked before. Just that paint and that wood and the caulking and everything. This took a whole weekend, but oh, it made such a difference. So here we are about a week later. The contractors uh, got his group, his men to come this day. And boy, did they do this so fast. We would have been at this for probably a couple of weeks trying to get this right. They did have to cut down some branches on a tree and pull our fence back. And they drove this massive concrete truck in. I didn't actually realize they were going to bring in one of these, but uh, they backed that thing right up to the patio and just poured it and... It was amazing to watch and uh, they're not the best shots because I was through my screen but these guys were hard workers and it was so hot this day but I was just watching them and I was just so grateful that we were not having to do this ourselves that we opted to go with the professionals so I will um, in the in the fourth video in the playlist the final video before this one I did give a breakdown of how much it costs to do all of this and the concrete itself to have everything done was around 20 well it was $2,400 and it would have been around $1,400 had we done it ourselves so that is the price difference in that so this is uh, that day after they were finished we couldn't obviously walk on it and we had to wait until the next day they came back they took the framing off and you can see the edge is a little jagged but that's going to be I'll be covered up with my landscaping and then they did come back also and cut a groove in the middle of it it prevents it from cracking when the, the ground gets cold and it had rained this day too so that's why it was still wet there but it wasn't from the actual concrete the concrete was nice and dry at this point but it looked so amazing and now Marion was starting on the steps so I kind of told him exactly what I wanted and he just did it the way that I wanted I wanted kind of like a mini deck with wide stairs coming straight off of the porch I wanted there to be a little space on the right side so that when you open the door you don't have to like back up when you open it so he used these four by fours to as the base of it and he just was painting it with this something that keeps it from rotting in the in the future but he did amazing he used the treated wood so this wood was extremely heavy this little landing with the stairs cost around four hundred dollars in supplies prices for everything right now are ridiculous so it did cost about four hundred dollars but it's so sturdy he made it so strong because he wanted you know in case we he said in case we ever needed to like move a refrigerator or something you want to know that this was going to hold up so it's very sturdy very strong and it's exactly to the specifications that i wanted he's so sweet he just you know we talked about the best option and this is what i wanted and he decided um, he would make the, I forget what they're called, I forget what they're called, I'll put it on the screen, <laughs> but those, um, instead of buying them pre-made, he wanted to do them custom, just to make sure that they fit and were perfectly level, and they do, and they look amazing, and this is kind of what they look like. I wanted him to maybe put a piece of wood in the front to kind of box them in but I'm not sure yet <laughs> we haven't decided on that yet but they're amazing they look so great and you'll see in a little bit um, we'll come back and he'll put the railings on but this day I wanted to get my plants back in the ground so I just you know use the landscaping fabric to keep the weeds out and this doesn't work perfectly though still some weeds come through and you know I have to weed them every now and then and then I just like laid the plants out to see where they should be my hostas were not looking so great they never do really great back here um, I moved them from the front where there's more Sun and they just they just never do great in my yard but I still wanted to go ahead and transplant them back here and so I put them all kind of like lining around the the edge of the patio and then I left a big space in the front so that we can step off without stepping on them and I added this black mulch and it just really finished it off it looks so good I do in the future probably plan on putting some sort of border around it just to keep the mulch from you know like I don't know if we have too much rain washing away we did actually have like a flood before I planted these and so the ground was super soft and I appreciate that <laughs> but um, we had crazy 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 flooding in our town and our backyard was just completely flooded so it does make me want to put a border around them but that's um, in the future like there's 
so many things I want to still do in the future. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already, if you want to see future backyard projects, because this is just like the major project, but then there's so many things we want to add at the end. I did add this, these little solar lights. I had had some, and then I went and got some more to make enough to go around the border. And they're just so pretty at night. There's, it's so cozy and just a little, a, a finishing touch. I know that the plants are kind of like a finishing touch, but I needed to go ahead and get those back in the ground. This is the space where I will probably put some sort of stepping stone and maybe some more mulch. I'm not exactly sure, but that is in the future. So now Marion is back to working on the steps. He's building the railings and I originally was just going to have him put the spindles that we had on the deck just reuse those but I had seen this kind of cross design and I just thought it was so pretty and I asked him if he could do that and I think it was probably a little bit easier than the spindles but it turned out so nice he did amazing he just did amazing you can see there they're a little low the tops of the railings are a little low he did have to go back and move those um but there's a lot of things that I didn't share in this video, a lot of things, mistakes we made, things we had to go back and fix, but the crosses look amazing. And then he made these beautiful toppers to go on top. We were going to get some, and I think they were like $9, eight or $9 each. And he said, you know, I could probably make those. So he just took some of the wood he had left over and he made them. And then he made these little, the little trim to go underneath them. And they are so pretty. A lot of y'all have said I should get the solar powered ones. And we looked at those, but I think those were even more expensive. So these we didn't even have to pay for. So that was nice. And now he is working on the last part of it. He's using these massive screws. Um, and then you take these braces and they screw into the concrete and it's going to have a four by four post coming up off of it. That's what it is, a Tapcon. So he's building a patio cover for one side of the patio. If you want more details about why we did it this way and why we only did one side and all those details are in the other videos. This is just kind of a condensed version. Um, so they were just, my son was helping him and he was using that same string to try and level the top. He did need the top to be angled. So it angles off the left side of the patio so that rain will wash off and we always have rain. So it has definitely rained since we did this and it works beautifully. The rain wash uh, rolls off the one side and doesn't get on anything. So, um, he did a great job, but he's just basically just building a frame and then he's gonna you know put the braces in and then we decided to use um, the the steel top it's not my first choice but it was a great option with the price and everything the price for this entire cover was with delivery was about seven hundred dollars in the future I'd love to go back and maybe paint the ceiling or add some beadboard on the inside of the ceiling not really sure um, also, I want to either stain or paint all the wood. All that is not done in this video, but that's another future project. He's currently building me a beautiful custom table to go on my patio using some of the reclaimed wood from the deck. So he's still busy. There's lots of projects to come. But once he got the framing done, he did use four by fours to brace the corners. That is super important. That gave it so much more stability than it had before. And I think it looks beautiful the way he did it. He just did such a great job. He takes his time and he's just really, he's basically self-taught or YouTube taught, but, but he loves woodworking. And as he's gotten older, he's really, really enjoyed doing projects and it's something he really enjoys and I get to benefit from it. So <laughs> it's a win-win. So he's just putting the beams across the top here and then he's going to add the roof and then it's going to be finished.
right, so now that it's finished, it's time, my favorite part, time to decorate the space. So I was lucky enough to get a couple really good deals. I found a rug at Sam's for about $89 and it's an indoor outdoor. It's an eight by 10. I'll try and link it down below. It's beautiful and I love it. And I kind of want to get a second one for the other side. I'm not sure, but only this side is covered. So we definitely wanted a rug over here. And then on Facebook Marketplace, I found a beautiful patio set for only $400. It came with a sectional, two glider rockers, a table, and also a storage bin, which we're not using at the moment, but it was the the cushions were a little there were a few spots on that were messed up and they are, the stuffing was kind of flat in some of them so they did give us like some extra stuffing to kind of fill them and you know make them a little bit better but they're fine they're pretty comfortable and um, the glider rockers are so great I really wanted something that rocked and I really wanted a sectional so when I found this I was so excited so excited it's exactly what I was looking for we've already had all of our family over and had a cookout and it was so much seating it was so perfect it was it was everything I dreamed it would be <laughs> So the other side of the patio, we do have lots of plans for still, and those will be coming up, but um, you know, I don't know when that will be. Right now, uh, we focused on the other side, and like I said, he is building a table for this side, so we wanna have the grill and the table. This will be the eating side, obviously, but all those projects will be coming up in the future but right now I was just trying to clean it and then I'm just gonna add my old table there and our little grill in the meantime until we get everything like we want it here I'm just stuffing these cushions the best I can they were kind of wonky and they're not all exactly the same but these cushions are so expensive if you just want to replace your cushions they can be hundreds of dollars so I was thankful that I got these and they work just fine a beautiful cedar planter that Marion made me for Mother's Day. He actually made me two of them and he had seen where you could take plastic bags and line them and then put your potting soil in them. So this is just a temporary thing. I may go back and I don't know put a planter in it eventually and I also am going to either stain them or paint them I haven't decided yet I have heard that you need to let things cure outside for a while before you stain them. I'm not I need to still research all that but I just put potting soil in it and it holds up your plants it also weights down the planter because we have a lot of bad weather here and this just gives it something to hold it down and I got these two 
uh, ferns from Walmart. I got two of them. They were $5 each. They were so $10 for this and it's beautiful. And I just kind of manipulated the leaves to make them look as realistic as possible. And then I set that and that, that is like my, my, almost my favorite part of this patio. I just love it. And the other one I'll, I will also set this one out. I just wasn't sure how it was going to look. So that's in the future too. And then I just got an inexpensive rug from Ross and put that out in front of the door because the dogs are in and out and that will catch the dirt. And then I have these amazing lights. I'll link the company down below. I worked with them a couple years ago. They're called Adlon and these have been the best outdoor lights. I had them on my front porch, but we don't really use them out there because I don't have a plug. So it's kind of a pain, but back here I knew that we'd use them a lot. And so they literally fit perfectly within the space. I think this is the 40 or no, the yeah, 45 foot in length so if you're interested if you go to the website but they looked beautiful and here are some before pictures to remind you what it looked like we have come so far like I said this was two months worth of work the total price for everything was around four thousand um, plus the, the patio furniture and everything um, so give or take and prices are always changing and they may be different in your area but if that's something that you're interested in that was about the total cost for everything but this was literally my dream come true. I have wanted a patio for so long and it was so amazing to have. We had, I think, 13 people over the other day. Um, just the kids and stuff. And it was, we had plenty of room and then some. So this is what it looks like after. And it is just so cozy and inviting. And like I said, there's so much we want to do still. So make sure that you come back so that you can see all of the future projects. We just have so many things we want to do. And we have a little grandbaby now. And I just envision you know, sidewalk chalk and a little swimming pool and just all the fun times we are going to have out here as our family continues to grow. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope it gave you some kind of motivation to get some things done or to realize that you can do things that maybe you thought you couldn't, maybe you thought they were too difficult. Um, whatever space you have, you can make it your own. You can make it beautiful. Always also always look for bargain, you know, furniture, bargain pieces, because I looked and looked and looked for this patio set. And when I found it, I jumped on it and it was perfect, exactly what I wanted. So things also take time to build and, you know, to save the money to pay for them. So nothing's going to happen overnight. This was a lot of hard work, but we, we did it together and the investment we made in our, our home is, you know, you can't replace that. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys. Make sure to check out that playlist down below if you are interested in, you know, any more details, things I didn't share. There's so much that I didn't share in this video, but I wanted to just kind of condense everything. It's still kind of a long video, but I wanted to make a shorter version for those that, you know, didn't have the patience to go through the entire playlist. But thanks again. I love you guys. and I I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.